G'day guys, my name's Spetzler, and welcome back to my City Skylines Let's Play. So last time we built the beginnings of the city, we have some power going, we've got a bit of a residential area, and we've got a bit of our industrial area. Now hopefully we can expand and keep building on that, and keep everything more or less efficient. So let's get back into it. Alright, so, back in. We have our power coming from the middle, which is not really the best in the world, but it is the best spot for the windmills. So we may knock them down and move them later on. Uh, how's our roads going? I think our road network is pretty efficient in here. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we go. So... Where do we go from here, I suppose, is the question. I think, well, we need some more commercial. So, first things first, let's build some commercial up off here. Um, you know what? Uh, I don't really want to build it on this road, because if I build it on this road, we'll get our trucks coming in here, and then going down into the residential area, meaning they'll have to come out there. And I want to keep them as far away from the residential area as I can. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another road that way. Expand this way a bit. And then we'll put... it comes down here. So we'll go up this way. Like that. And then we will turn these areas right here into... Okay, put three there, and we'll do the same thing there. So I'm doing it this way, to stop them building off of, uh, let's even do that, it's probably safer. So I'm doing it this way to stop them building off of these one-way roads, because if they're built here and a truck comes to deliver something, they'll have to then leave the entire city and come back if they need to go somewhere else. And that's just really inefficient. When I do get access to freeways, this is a long way away, the best way to do these inlet and outlets of the cities is to use these highway ramps. They don't have to slow down to turn off them, and it just takes a lot of stress out of it all. Okay, so we've got a bit here. I think what we can do is we can fill in these little bits that aren't being used yet, and we can add some more around there. This is really difficult having it in the corner. Hmm. We'll see where we go. I may have some room here to run another road further up. Another inlet further up. Uh, I am a worthy village. We can I buy a new area? We've got policies. We can take out a second loan if we need to. Um... Specializations, ooh, fire department, stop people burning down, stop people stealing. Uh, and yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I think I'm going to expand my residential area a little bit. We're going to add one more up here. Let's just pause because I've killed everyone's power. Uh, which way do these go? These go that way. So we'll bring them back. And I'm going to have to put the power back in as well. So, for now, I'm just going to have to take the hit and lose that space. But when they expand out this way, then I can kill these and knock it back to here somewhere. Which will be a bit nicer. Okay, so now we're zoning. Let's add a bunch more of that. Bit more in here. Let's, let's do that. Add some chunks in. Fill in that. Fill in that. And I think we're going to split this area up here in two as well. Let's go. Let's do that. We'll put there. 
And along here could be. Let's do the same thing there. There we go. Brilliant. So that should help our demands a little bit more. People should hopefully be building into that, which they have. And because of that, I can actually destroy... Uh, why is it so picky? That and that. And we can build power line in there. So now, we have full access to all of these areas. Do I have water under there? I do. That's good. That is very good. Uh, I don't need to set policies yet, but we can set a whole heap of different policies. Um, the three we have access to at the moment cost five cents for each house or each building. And that's really expensive. So we're going to go to healthcare now. And we are going to add this, which... Ooh. There's probably better. Still going to have issues. There would be the best. Um, but I think I'm going to build... I think I'm going to build a fire department first. So let's build the fire department. Oh, those placed a bit weird. And we will build a cop shop. And finally, we'll have a medical clinic right in the middle. So that'll service these guys more than it will the industrial area. But I don't really care. It works for me. Okay. We're actually doing quite well here. Long arm of the law reaches the city. Oh, we need education as well. Apparently people want to learn things. That's most of the citizens. Our capacity is now 300, so we can now have everyone. Okay. Uh, building's burnt down. Let's just destroy it. Well, those are, someone else will build there. That's fine. Oh no! Another one's on fire. There they go, putting it out. So that's good. I believe the more tiles they have attached to the road. Oh, okay. Maybe not. There we go. They'll even stop up there. I thought it was the amount of tiles attached to the road is the amount of uh, fire engines that could be used to put it out. But it seems that they'll even stop further up. It may even be four attached to the road, I'm not sure. Either way. Uh, fire there. They better hurry up. There they go, they're on their way back. Oop, they're gonna stop here first. No, oh, okay, that one's gonna go. Yeah, okay, maybe it is the amount of tiles, because only one of the fire engines has actually come round to this house. This building. Although this building does seem to have a lot. I don't know. I give up. I'm done. I wipe my hands on it. So we're still making 1300 a week. Uh, we've still got plenty of money. I think our power is... Yeah, okay. We're going to start having power issues. So I'm going to build another one up here. Um, and how far away are we from the next one? A lot. Okay, so I'm just going to build another one, seeing as we have money now. And that'll mean I won't have to think about it for a while. There we go. So we've got another 11 megawatt to play with. Uh, we have pretty much everything we need. Uh, I'm gonna need to expand again, I think. So let's build another road. <sighs> Shit. I hate it when I do that. Let's just pause and fuck it up. There we go. Not enough money! Are you serious? There we go. Do that. I actually probably should have built this first. Eh, whatever. Please be close enough. There we go. Cool. If people don't have water and power for too long, like these red ones start flashing, 
And once that happens, you, okay. <laughs> uh, there's something else I wasn't watching. Alright. I'm going to have to do that quickly. When they flash red like that, I don't believe you get any money off them. And even worse, if you leave it too long, they will leave the town. And once they do that, it's really hard to get them back. Um, I don't even think it's long enough. Let's put it up a little bit. Come on. Yeah, okay, that's that's gonna have to do. Twelve hundred. Shit. Oh well, it'll come eventually. Or or let's take out a loan. Where are my loans? Under here. Loans. Let's get the cheapest loan. And... Where were we? We were underwater. Build my piping. Piping up there. There we go. Problem solved. They now have water. They should stop bitching. And they should start paying taxes again. So that road goes to the right. Now we need a single road going over there. That has destroyed some stuff. So we're going to have to do that. Keep power on. There we go. So now we're going to look at this one. So we will go here. And that can all be residential. Build another nice big block of commercial. Uh, let's go back to residential and we'll do the same thing we did before. Four. One, two, three, four. That. Three, four. And we'll go there as well. And just take this and flood fill. Make it really easy. Do they have water? They do not have water. So we now need to... A lot of overlap. That's better. Put that there. So now we should have another rose worth. So that's good. That house is there. Can I get power from that? Not yet. I need one to build on the other side of the road somewhere. Okay. We are expanding slowly. We're up to 1,200 people now. So it's a, it's one of those slow and steady deals. Uh, traffic's still not that much of a problem. This is going to become an issue. But I think what I'll do is if when I expand this a bit further north, I'll just build another cross up here. Um, I could build another one in there. Ah, I don't like that. This is already this intersection is already as slow as I want it to be. And I mean, industrial is going to be industrial. There's not really a lot I can do about that, given how many trucks go through. But at least this way, I have kept the trucks out of my residential area, which is good. We have a little bit of a slowdown on the off-ramp, but it's not too bad. I think we're just doing some slow growing for now. There's low demand for residential and nothing for anything else, so... It'll, I think it's one of those it'll get there when it gets there kind of deals. I think we should zone all this and allow for some more jobs to come through. Uh, they have water, they have power. We have a lot of money. I don't really know what to do with the money right now. It's alright. Everyone's got healthcare. Everyone's fire protected, everyone's 
prime protected and everyone barring this corner down here has access to the school. We are almost at max capacity though. So, I mean, it's not the greatest, but we are getting there. We could even expand this out one more, but we, we don't need to right now. They're going to start filling in all these little blue zones first. And that'll create some more jobs anyway. And then more people will move in. So, I mean, the next thing we're going to want is to actually move up this way first. Uh-oh. I don't want to make single roads. Single roads are bad. Need to be able to get back and forth somewhere. Somehow. Somehow. Somehow is better. And we go that way. So we're going to come back across here. We're going to do our little zoning trick, although we seem to be wanting a bit more now. So, four, one, two, three, four. We're going to actually double. Uh oh. Do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to double the area we have here. And then we'll do four. Do the same thing there. No, no, I don't need any there. We'll just fill in the rest. Like that. And right next to the dump can be some more commercial. I can finally get rid of this one. That's being built. So I think that'll actually touch... Oh, so close. So close. I will need one of the buildings on the other side of this road. But for now, that does allow us to zone this extra area in here. So we'll zone that as residential. Something's on fire. No. I'm a tiny town. We can put in decorations now. It's nice. We can ban pets. We can ban smoking. Uh, we can increase land values. And we can build our high school. Which is okay, I suppose. Like 7% of our population is educated. 10% is educated enough to go to high school. Useful. Ooh, a building is leveled up. High land value, they... Yeah, whatever. They get better. It's all that matters. So if I go here, I could actually build the next school. So, I mean, that's about as far as it's going to reach. Whereas this, on the other hand, so it's already occupied, reaches a hell of a lot further. So I'm actually thinking of putting it even up here. That way it'll reach all the way down into this bottom corner. And then it'll reach the same again up this way. So I'm going to build it off of this road there. There we go. So we've got four, almost 500 people eligible, and we've got a thousand people that can do it at once. So that's fine. Uh, we will actually need another school soon. So I'll wait till we go out a little bit more, and I'll build one up there. We can also now build these unique buildings that you can only have one of in the city. And I'm not quite sure what they do. Dungeon shopping is a consistent reminder of the bliss that it is to purchase something. The requirement for building the Hadron Collider. So, I need that to build the Hadron Collider. So, I think these are prerequisites of either later buildings or these monuments. But for now, I think I'll call it there. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like below. And if you want to keep up with whatever I'm going to be doing in the future, crack the subscribe button for me. I'll see you guys next time.